okay water signs i'm back with part two of your video so um hopefully you watched part one and we went over the ice queen and why you're in that divine pause at the current time um spirit is saying that um you're to take this time for you you're to take this time and bring everything that you desire for your life and bring it into the consciousness right because in the subconscious when we leave our ideas and our goals and our aspirations and all those things on the back burner it's when we actually bring them to the forefront of our consciousness and that's when we can begin to plan and to strategize and to do the things that we need to do to get it on track to bring it into the 3d world right and so this is your divine pause to allow you to get busy <laughs> you know get all those ideas going so that um you can manifest them, you know, and um, so take advantage of this time to keep yourself at a high vibrate, vibrating, energetic frequency, you know, in order to do that, we don't want to uh, manifest the things we don't want, we're only concentrating on the things we do want, so what a great time and space and energy to allow ourselves to focus on the good, <laughs> whatever that good is, whatever it is that makes you feel good at this time, do it. Whatever it makes you feel excited, you need to do it. Whatever gets you pumped up, you need to do it. Whatever you need to read in order to inspire you, you need to do it. Um, so this ice queen energy that you're in right now is uh, for your greater good, you know, for your um, ability to discern what it is that you want to make sure you're doing. So don't look at it as the setback that you may be feeling in your in your gut space right now. Um, don't look at it in that way. It's time to look at it from a new perspective. So we're going to go over some cards and see what it is exactly um, that you're dealing with. How we can transmute that energy in a, in a manner that's going to allow you to start to manifest all those things that you do want with that Pisces new moon energy. Right? So um, let's see. to give us um spirit just give us three cards right now on what the water signs are dealing with okay <laughs> gosh the, these cards so on point okay so you may have this idea of yourself, right? And, and we all have this identity, right? That we um, are used to in our life. And we feel like that there's been some sort of death to the person that we always thought we were. You know what I mean? It's like, even if it's something as little as change of a job, change of a career, change of... Um, a living environment, change of um, our thinking patterns, you know, like maybe we're beginning to utilize our ability to think differently. Maybe we're throwing away old belief systems. Maybe some things in our life have occurred that have made it so we uh, no longer trust um, people, places, things, ideas around us that has now created some sort of an identity crisis within ourselves to say, who are we if we don't even know the people we think we know? <laughs> you know, what has happened to us or what is flawed in us if we're incapable of seeing um, people for who they are, their true colors, you know? Even something as simple as that, maybe you're dealing with, um, it's just really, it's almost like a, an identity crisis in some way. Maybe you're getting older and you're like, listen, I got to figure out life at this point, <laughs> you know, who do I want to be when I grow up? Well, shit, you know, you're in your mid forties, you better figure her out, you know, and, and maybe that's an identity crisis for you. And I'm just giving an example for, you know, my age and, you know, and things like that. But it's like, um, you know, a lot of things can create identity crises within us um, as simple as maybe you've met someone and they're not your normal type they're not your normal um, maybe they're not normal societal societal you know 
what society would consider okay. Maybe it's, um, maybe you're questioning your sexuality. Maybe you're questioning your, um, you could be in any way questioning your identity in some form at this time. You feel like there's been a death to the old you. And that could just be a transformation in your energy alone. Maybe you're ascending. Maybe you're beginning to open that third eye that we all have, the capability of opening if we want to. Um, and, and maybe that's creating some feeling of uh, not understanding, you know, like, um, who am I in this world? What do I want? What am I here to do? What's my purpose? Where do I go from here, you know, with, um, from what I've known from my past and whatever reference book that I like to look at every once in a good while and, and what what do I desire with those little rockets that I throw out into the universe what can I do right now to figure out what is my next best step and spirit is saying this um, this little ice queen time frame for you this little pause this little detour is exactly the gift. <laughs> Can you see that? The gift from God, the universe, your angels, your ancestors have given you at this point in time to figure it all out. You know, figure out what you want for yourself. Um, all those beautiful, creative, wonderful projects and ideas and things are at your fingertips at this time to go ahead and unfold. And and it's it's like it's all for your greater good. And you have to start believing that, <clears throat> claiming it, affirming it, knowing it, staying in that high vibrational energy of trust and faith in God that your steps were ordered. It's not a mistake. It's not a flaw. It's not a, um, <clears throat> it's not going over the cliff um, and ruining your life. It's here for a reason. And it's up to us to embrace it, to grow from it. Burped. Thank you, Spirit. <laughs> to embrace it, to learn from it, to grow from it, to evolve with it, to get excited about it, to get passionate about it. You know, that this is our time to shine, to figure it out, to understand, to research, to learn, to rest, you know, rest in order to reevaluate, you know, tweak, change, get quiet within ourselves, learn from ourselves, learn from our past, you know, whatever it is for you at this time. Um, you're getting, you know, you're feeling a little trapped. You're feeling a little, um, feeling a little like you're stuck. And spirit says, good, because you are. <laughs> we're making you stuck right here right now because it's your time it's your time to figure things out for your best interest for your life you know um so what what if they're feeling trapped okay if my water signs at this point in time are feeling trapped or feeling like um a little lost or feeling a little low what can they do right now at this time or what can they know is to come for them if they embrace this if they open up to this if they open their mind if they begin to listen to their heart space what what can they um gain from this let's get you a couple cards here yes there's things you don't see there's things um that you're discerning at this time there's, um, you're putting up boundaries with the things, places, people, ideas, um, things that weren't good for you, things that didn't serve you. You're putting up boundaries in a way that allows you to discern what is meant for you and what's not meant for you. Now, here's the thing. Spirit will tell you this. Whatever is meant for you will never pass you by. And I say that because um, it is what it is. It might co not come to you in the time frame you're looking for. It may not come to you in the package that you're looking for it to come in perfectly. But if, it, if you threw out a desire, a rocket of desire for anything in your life, and I don't care what it is, whether it's people or whether it's a job or whether
whether it's an opportunity, or whether it's a moving situation, or whether it's a new home, or a new career, or whatever it is for you, if you've launched that rocket of desire, whatever's meant for you, whatever way you're supposed to go, will um, come to you in your heart space at the right time. When you are ready, you will leap. When you are um, prepared, you will jump. When you are, um, when you find that person, you will never let them leave your side. You know, it's, it's, you have to understand that, um, I don't, <sighs> nothing that's meant for you will pass you by. And yes, things may seem like it's not going in the direction that you wished for, or that things may be delayed, or things may be, um, obstacles have may have come up for you in some way, but everything that's meant for you will find you in some way. Um, you ever hear that saying, and I, this is so like overused and whatever, but like, if you love something, let it go. If it comes back to you, it was meant to be, you know, nothing that's meant for you will pass you by. It's yours. It's, it's, um, you have to have faith and it's, and it's all about trying not to self-sabotage and talk yourself out of things that you know are meant for you and God will put them on your path if, it, if they're meant to be, you know? Um, God will put the right words in the back of your throat to have to say to somebody if it's, if it's words that could fix something. People, um, you know, um, God will have that employer look at your resume and your credentials and, and jump and, and can't wait to talk to you about an opportunity if it's the right opportunity for you. And, and so just get excited about what's about to happen for you in this time frame. Because everything that you've desired, you've shot it out there. But you let go of the outcomes, right? You let go of how. You let go of when. You let go of why. Knowing that you can't control anything or anyone other than you and your happiness and your stability. And you filling your own cup at this time in order to stay high vibing so that you can manifest all those things that you desire, right? So... No worries at this time. This is the perfect pause for you to work on you. You versus you. Me versus me. That's the only scenario that exists, right? It's, um, that's all there is, is now. And what we can do in this moment to keep ourselves in a space of living in gratitude, living in, um, excitement, living in... <clears throat> Right now, you know, just noticing, recognizing, doing things for our best interest in this moment. That's all we got, you know? So, um, give me some more advice for our beautiful water signs. Little loving suckers. Love me some water signs. Of course, I am one. And I love myself, of course. Um, but it's just, you know, we're just loving, caring, giving beings. And all we ever want is to find that you know, kind of person, you know, as a partner or, um, you know, somebody that is the same type of loving energy, living in that heart space, soul space as we are. And so, um, but now you're afraid, you know, you're, you may be like overthinking things. You may be, um, up at night. You may be having nightmares. You may have a lot of anxiety, right? And worry about the past and, and spirit is saying if you are in this energy of fear then you are living in your past and remember we don't want to live there we want to re reference we want to understand we want to forgive whatever has happened in the past that keeps us stuck you know in that state of anxiety or fear we want to just live in the now from our heart space and share that heart space with others you know in order to make the kind of future that that we want, you know, that we desire. Because if we're living in that past in an unforgiving space, in an unhealed um, space, we can't ever move really forward and we're going to continue to manifest the past that was undesirable for us, you know? Yes, it's like um, you're super passionate. You want triumph. And Spirit is saying that wheel of fortune is in your favor at this time, you know? No 
know that the angels are on this. Whatever you're dealing with, whatever you're going through, you're being guarded. You're being protected. Um, and so you have nothing to feel bad about. You have nothing to feel despondent about. You have nothing to feel like bored about at this time. Utilize your time wisely. Utilize it um, to keep yourself in an uplifted manner, you know, um, and you reap what you sow. So it's like, what are you doing in this moment in order to create a better future for yourself? Make sure that those seeds that you're planting right now are in a good garden, in good soil, and that it's it's planting with things that you want for your future, with um, the people that you want in your future, um, you know, investing in the right situations, in the right people, in the right places, in the right opportunities, right? And so if you do that, so <laughs> justice, justice will be served in your favor, karmic justice, because we reap what we sow, right? So what are you doing right now that you're sowing that in the future you can reap and be abundant in goodness, you know? Um, look at it from a different perspective. Take this time, this detour, this setback, this obstacle, and switch it to this opportunity, this um, pause, this evolution, this transformation, this um, next best step to everything that I want in my life. Because in the past, maybe things weren't right, you know, and things needed to change. And so there's a pause so that everything can be worked out beautifully perfectly the way that I want it to go because now I'm going to take time now I'm going to figure things out now I'm going to do things better now I'm going to be better prepared now I'm going to fill my cup so that when I'm ready to give that cup to someone else it's so full and overflowing somebody won't know what to do with that kind of cup you know what I mean but it'll be appreciated you know whatever it is for you that you're doing right now look at it from a different perspective Take this time to pause, reflect, and to transmute that negativity or um, stuck feeling and, and, and make it like a new opportunity for you. Yes. <laughs> Closing out old karmic cycles. Yes, you've learned your lessons. You're ready to move forward. You've forgiven the past. You're working on healing. And you're ready to move forward into the future for all the brightness and the opportunities that are to come. You are manifesting, <laughs> manifesting by your action-oriented thought, by your behaviors, by changing those little things within you that you know needed to change, by healing those little parts of you that really need healing, by noticing the things that you do on your own to self-sabotage, you know? And, and, and you're turning your back on that kind of behavior because no more of that. You know, you're fixing those things that need fixed within you so that you don't stop your own wonderful manifestations and your blessings, you know? Yes, I love it. <laughs> your blessings are on the way. And this will put you in your divine feminine energy, you know? The embodiment of all four kings or all four queens, depending, you know? These energies are fluid. The, the empress is divine masculine or, or divine feminine. It doesn't matter. You're embodying all four kings or all four queens into one. And you know how to utilize your energy to unfold the life that you want, water signs. And this is going to be celebration time. Celebration time. New house. Possibly new love. Maybe you're getting married. Who the heck knows? But I'm here to tell you, there's good things unfolding for you as soon as you can take this time to transform yourself. Rest. Rest. Get excited. Know that your future can be anything that you desire as you work on the now. You know? Every moment you have a choice. Every moment you have a decision to make. Every moment you have the ability to decide how you move in life. What you doing. What you planting. Who you planting with. Who you surrounding yourself with. How's your day unfolding. What's your routine. You know? What are you filling your mind with. What are you feeling your body with? What are you kind of energy exchanges are you having? Are they high vibing? Are they low vibing? Are they, um, yeah, you know, you just, you have the ability to decide. It's you in every single moment. 
So that's exciting energy. Um, let me give you, what can I give you? Here, here, here. Let's do self-care. This is a self-care for sure reading. So let me give you some self-care tips for today. What can you do today to get that frequency going for change in your life? Yes, transmutation of energy. <sighs> Evaluate your emotions. Become aware. How are you feeling in this moment? What can you do to change it in this moment? Not by going backwards. Not by living in the future. But right this second. What can you take advantage of in this moment to change energy? You know, if you're feeling stuck, what's blocking you? How can you... Um, overcome it? How can you climb the mountain to get over the obstacle that you need in order to change the way the energy is flowing at this time? Do you have chakra issues? Do you need to do meditations to open up your heart space, to open up your throat chakra, to be able to speak your truth? Is it that you have, um, do you need to open up your crown chakra and start to become aware of your own pattern of behavior? Whatever it is, you know, energy work is important for you at this time. So, Spirit is encouraging it. Meditate. Oh, yes. Pray. Meditate. Ask for God's hand in the matter. Whatever you believe in, you know. But, but meditation is the best way to get clarity. The best way to get back into our heart space. The way that we can align our body and our mind and our soul. To be one, to think clearly, to make good decisions, to feel calm, to come back to who we are, you know, our highest self. So those are your um, happenings, water signs for you. I hope that you have um, a great rest of your day. I'll be talking to you again soon and keep manifesting all your new moon energy um, in the way that you want it to go. Talk to you soon. Bye.